my PowerPoint is empty. Empty like a hungry belly. Empty like some household fridges right here in Australia. Unfortunately, it is estimated that between one and two million Australians have inadequate access to a nutritious and affordable food supply. This can compromise nutrition, risking cancer, heart disease, or poor mental health. Imagine if you could not connect with others through food. Breaking bread with loved ones, this is essential for our well-being. So action on addressing this problem we call food insecurity is vital, and my research has led me to explore a non-traditional setting for health and nutrition action. Firstly, I've looked at the community sector for their role in responding to food insecurity. I looked at home and abroad for evidence of effective interventions, programs that don't just treat the symptom, but instead expose and address the underlying causes. I've used this information to develop a framework, a framework of the core components of an effective program. And I'm using this framework to evaluate a case study here in Australia of a not-for-profit food rescue organisation called Second Bite. So, what will my evaluation reveal? Well, it'll help to establish if Second Bite is a program that's really getting at those root causes and identify what else they could or should be doing. My preliminary analysis suggests that advocacy could play a really important role in strengthening the response of the community sector. So, following this lead, I've looked at our government responses to food insecurity. Through a systematic review of the literature, I identified local, state and federal government policies, and I'll use this evidence to talk to the community sector and say, hey, what can you see from the front line about this issue, and how can you advocate for change? I'll meet food insecure Australians, get their ideas, because surely they know about this problem better than anyone. And lastly, I'll meet policymakers to identify the topics to get real action and traction for change. Overall, by consulting with community and government, I'll offer evidence-informed insights into policy and practice that will build a fairer, healthier future for those doing it tough, one that's far more fulfilled than an empty PowerPoint.